it's already in your head and it's in your heart, it has to come to life. I don't think God gives us ideas for them to just stay dormant inside of our bodies and inside of our thoughts. We're supposed to let them out. That's one. Two, I have a board next to my bed of all the different things that I want to do. And some of them always like, can I do that? Can I do that? Can I make a movie? Can I write a movie? Can I, like, I want to do all those things. I'm going to do it. We have to pace ourselves. Don't put so much pressure on ourselves and like, okay, I got the first part of this movie written. Okay, tick that off. When am I supposed to do the second part? Like give yourself like a chart so that you can actually put everything into perspective. So you have to help yourself find your own way and you have to be your biggest fan and say, oh, I'm not done, let's go. What I need to do today? Don't want what someone else has. You don't know what they did to, to get there. And I also think it's important to like, you gotta find your own way. You can't hate on somebody else's way and how they got there. You just have to navigate your own and your path is going to be your best path. You can admire someone's, the way someone's doing something, but you don't get jealous of it. You don't get green with envy behind it. You just try to figure out your own formula because your formula is gonna get you the, the real money shot. have to walk into what is yours and not be afraid of that and so many times we're so scared of what's on the other side of the door we can't see but it's called faith when you're not being Absolutely. afraid to walk into it and I wanted it to be a woman of faith. I think that we all have an opportunity and the responsibility to be leaders in our own way and like I said a, a responsibility you know what I mean as a person as a human okay. uh, to always act in kindness act in patience and walk in the space and how we want others to treat us.